Hey Aquarius, welcome guys. Thanks for tuning in today. I hope you're having a great day so far. Uh, we're going to use these oracle cards here. We'll see what messages Spirit and the Universe has for you guys today. So let's see what's going on in your life or the life of somebody you know. Remember this message might be for you or someone in your life, but you're the one watching, so you're the one getting the message. So I have mental conflict. So somebody is struggling with something in their life. I also have wisdom as well so looking for some wisdom looking for some clarity to help bring about a solution i also have stand your ground and this stand your ground card a lot of times speaks of a need to take back control of your life and it might speak of a need to take back control of the direction that your life is going in or you might need to stand your ground with somebody in your life as well i have the universe so when she shows up in my reads she speaks of a universal path or a universal life lesson that needs to be learned i also have choose wisely so definitely choice is going to be important in this read and choosing a path, choosing a way of dealing with whatever this conflict is. I also have power. This power card to me speaks of empowerment and it's directly tied to this stand your ground card and not letting somebody or something push you around, not being forced into a decision to doing things the way that you feel is right to do them. I also have spiritual, uh, spiritual strength. So I feel like drawing on your intuition that spiritual side of you is going to help to give you that wisdom and guidance as well. I do have balance. So I feel like that's what you're going to be finding and being able to make whatever this choice is, uh, moving away from this mental conflict, finding a resolution is going to bring balance back to your life and intuition. So you might be a very intuitive person here as well, because I got quite a few cards for that. Let's see what Tarot has to say about this journey, about the situation that's going on. So I have the King of Cups. So Cups is all about emotion. Uh, so he is the King of Emotion. So this might speak um, on the positive side to happiness, emotional fulfillment, emotional support, um, finding that self-esteem and that self-empowerment. On the flip side, we might be talking about uh, somebody who's uh, moody and manipulative. And this might be uh, where we need to stand our ground as well. I also have the Justice card. The Justice card speaks of balance as well and somebody getting justice. I feel like it's I feel like it's this standing up for yourself, this stand your ground, this you are getting justice for yourself. You are not going to be pushed around or bullied. I also have the nine of pentacles. The nine of pentacles represents happiness and abundance. I feel like it's directly tied to the balance card and finding this balance in your life. The ace of wands represents new beginnings. It can speak to a new life, uh, even a new life starting like a baby, or it can speak to a new business venture as well, but definitely a new chapter. I feel the fire of it, and I feel like it's tied into that power card and the empowerment and a new way of being in the world and standing up for yourself. I also have the Hierophant. So this Hierophant can speak of higher learning. He can speak of an, in, uh, an institution. He can also speak of a mentor, and this might be... Um, where this spiritual strength and this wisdom is going to come from. There might be a mentor in your life, and maybe your mentor is the one who's very intuitive as well. I also have the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands represents good news on the way, and I feel like it's directly tied into the Stand Your Ground and taking back control. I have the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups represents a deep emotional bond. So this might be talking about uh, somebody you're in a relationship with and needing to sort of set some boundaries. Uh, this Two of Cups might also refer to the Hierophant and someone you're going to gain wisdom from in your life. I have the Nine of Cups. Two Cups is all about uh, emotion. So this card speaks of abundance and it speaks of happiness the devil card mm, i feel this i look at him and i'm pulled right back to this king of cups so the devil card can represent a person when it represents a person it speaks to them being a uh, manipulative and destructive i feel like it's definitely tied to that king of cups i can't explain why i just look at this and i'm pulled right back there um so i feel like this is who you're dealing with this is who you need to stand your ground with i don't know who they are in your life uh whether they're a partner somebody you're romantically involved with somebody you work with a family a friend whoever this is uh, you definitely need to draw a line here is what the cards are saying and establish some boundaries i have the knight of cups the knight of cups uh, represents an emotional victory which i feel is going to come uh, from being able to stand your ground i feel empowerment in this knight of cups i have the page of swords which represents delayed or disappointing news um, when it speaks to a person though and i 
I feel like it does. I feel like it ties back into this king. It can speak of somebody who is arrogant and somebody who is selfish and immature. And I feel like this king, whoever this person is, this devil card refers to, uh, they don't really take other people's feelings into account. They just want what they want when they want it. And they will do what they have to do to get it. And if that means they have to be sneaky and manipulative, I think they have no problem doing that. I just don't see them being empathetic to other people's problems. They're just very self-involved. Uh, I also have the King of Wands, which speaks of passion, ambition, and drive. I feel like it's speaking to, I feel like it's speaking to an anger. You know what? I feel like it's speaking to you. It's speaking to who this read is meant for and, and finding that, that empowerment. That's, I feel very strong emotions in this card with empowerment. And basically the words that come to my mind are not taking shit. Like, you're not going to take shit anymore. And I think this person has been dishing out a good helping of it. I also have the Page of Pentacles, which represents good news on the way. And the Temperance card, which speaks of a balance between emotion and logic. And I feel like it's speaking to how you're going to handle this person and not just losing your shit and slapping them or nothing. I feel like it's speaking to being able to state how you feel about their behavior very clearly, to state your new lines, your new boundaries, uh, that if they cross, we're going to say goodbye or whatever you figure the consequence needs to be and just establishing it very calmly, very directly and very confidently. And that is you taking back control of the situation and taking your power back. All right, guys, that is what the card said to me today. Remember, if you want to participate in our free read giveaway at the end of each week, all you have to do is be a subscriber and just leave a message in one of my videos saying that you're interested. All right, guys, take care.